Imagine a secret formula that amplifies your money, not twice, but tenfold. Forget dubious pyramid schemes, this superpower lies buried within the complex world of macroeconomics. Don't let the fancy term fool you. Welcome back to Nordal Media Channel. Today, we're cracking the code on the money multiplier, a real-life economic phenomenon that shapes the very bedrock of our financial world. This ain't your average dry economics lecture. We'll ditch the jargon and inject the excitement of a financial thriller. Think Indiana Jones chasing the Ark of the Covenant, but instead of dusty relics, we're hunting the secrets of economic prosperity. So ditch the get-rich-quick scheme and join us on this intellectual treasure hunt. Uncover the hidden forces that shape your finances and emerge empowered to navigate the economic jungle with confidence. Remember, knowledge is the ultimate multiplier and together, we'll unlock the secrets of financial mastery. Let's get started! What is the money multiplier? Have you ever deposited money in your bank, assuming it sits untouched? Think again. Banks play a game of financial Houdini, lending out a large chunk, think 90% of your deposit, through fractional reserve banking. This magic trick is the foundation of the money multiplier. Imagine that borrowed sum landing in someone else's account. Proof, it becomes available for another loan minus a small reserve the bank keeps. This creates new money. Now picture the cycle repeating with each loan, each time creating less new money but snowballing the total amount in circulation. The key player? The reserve ratio, which dictates how much banks keep and how much they lend. So, a low 10% reserve ratio means your $100 can potentially spawn $10 or 1 over 0.1 in new money. That's the money multiplier in action, silently shaping the flow of money in our economy. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but understanding this financial wizardry can shed light on economic activity interest rates, and how our individual financial decisions contribute to the bigger picture. Remember, responsible financial planning and informed choices are the true path to achieving your financial goals. The Multiplier Effect Imagine a single dollar, a lone green bill, sitting in your bank account. Now, imagine it doesn't just sit there idly. Instead, the bank lends it out, let's say to a budding entrepreneur. They use that dollar to buy supplies, paying a local vendor. The vendor, with their newfound dollar, might pay their employees or purchase materials from another business. Each recipient of that dollar injects it back into the economy, spending it on goods or services. But here's the twist. They don't spend the entirety. Maybe they keep 10 cents of savings following the bank's reserve ratio. Remember, that dollar wasn't magically duplicated. But the remaining 90 cents are now circulating, available for another loan. Another entrepreneur gets their hands on it, the cycle repeats, and voila! Our loan dollar has spawned more economic activity, more spending, and potentially more profits. This chain reaction fueled by fractional reserve banking is the multiplier effect in action. The key player here is the reserve ratio. The lower it is, the more a single dollar can be multiplied through lending and spending. Imagine the 10% reserve ratio shrinking to 5%. Now, our initial dollar can theoretically create up to $20 worth of economic activity. This amplifying effect is why even small chances in the reserve ratio can have significant impacts on the overall economy. So, the next time you see a money multiplier claim, remember, it's not about multiplying your personal wealth overnight. It's about understanding how money flows through the system, creating ripples of economic activity that can impact everything from individual businesses to national growth. It's a fascinating concept and one that sheds light on the interconnectedness of our financial world. 
impact on the economy. The money multiplier isn't just a mathematical curiosity. It's a hidden hand shaping the economic landscape. Imagine it as a dimmer switch for the economist engine. When the reserve ratio is low, more money flows through the system, like cranking up the dial. This abundance of money makes loans cheaper, enticing businesses to borrow and invest while consumers splurge on new purchases. The result? Growth! But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. This rapid expansion can also fuel inflation, like a car overheating from pushing too hard. Conversely, raising the reserve ratio throws cold water on the system. Less money circulates, loans become pricier, and spending tips. Businesses hold back on expansion and consumers tighten their belts. This cooldown, while necessary to tame inflation, can lead to slower economic growth, like a car cruising on low gear. The money multiplier is a powerful tool, but it's a double-edged sword. Understanding its impact helps us navigate the complex dance between economic growth and stability, ensuring the engine runs smoothly without overheating or stalling. It's not about doubling your money instantly, but about understanding the invisible forces shaping the very ground we stand on financially. Central Bank Control The central bank holds the reins of the money multiplier. The economic engine that creates more money from your deposits. Think of them as the conductor orchestrating the flow of money through the financial system. Their primary tools are the reserve ratio and open market operations. By tweaking the reserve ratio, they dictate how much banks have to keep on hand, impacting how much they can lend and therefore influencing the overall money supply. Imagine raising the reserve ratio like tightening a water hose, less money flows. Open market operations are another trick up their sleeve. They buy and sell government bonds, affecting interest rates and money supply. Buying bonds injects money into the system like opening a floodgate. Conversely, selling bonds sucks money out, tightening the flow. Through these adjustments, the central bank aims for a sweet spot, economic stability. They juggle inflation, unemployment, and growth using the money multiplier like a balancing act to keep the economy chugging along smoothly. Remember, it's not magic, but carefully calculated intervention to ensure our financial system doesn't run amok or grind to a halt. While not doubling your money overnight, understanding this mechanism empowers you to make informed financial decisions in a dynamic economic landscape. The money multiplier isn't a magic wand for personal wealth, but it unlocks the secrets of our economic ecosystem. It reveals how money moves like a river, fueled by bank lending and fueled by our spending habits. By understanding this flow, we see how governments, like dam keepers, adjust reserve ratios and interest rates to influence its speed and direction. So, while doubling your money instantly might sound tempting, remember, true financial security comes from understanding the bigger picture. It's about making informed choices, planning realistically, and riding the waves of the economic current, not chasing get-rich-quick schemes. After all, a financially literate you is a powerful force, contributing to a stable and thriving economy for everyone. So let's ditch the instant wealth fantasies and dive deeper into the fascinating world of financial literacy one money multiplier lesson at a time. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Nordal Media Channel. I'll see you in the next video.